Okay, lesson 10, user input. Um, so, so far we haven't asked the user to give us any input, uh, but now we are. So I'm gonna go ahead, type, uh, watch and learn. So name, so for example, we use input. Now those of you who are still using Python 2, uh, 2.7 or something like that, it is actually raw input. But uh, because we are on Python 3, it is just input. Um, so what is your name? And I like to put this little extra uh, you know, symbol there, space to make it look nice. And then I can say print, hello, format name. Okay, so let's test that. I'll explain it real quick. So what is your name? My name is Christian. Hello, Christian. Okay, so what it says. Okay, so I have a new variable called name, and it's going to be a string variable. And an input, so get information from the user say, you know, display, what is your name? User types the name, hits enter. Whatever I typed here, in this case Christian, went over into name. And then this is just a simple print statement, print hello, and we use the format method to put the variable name into the braces. Okay, so let's try a different example. x equals input, please type a number. I'll uh, say please enter, that makes it better. Enter a number. Okay, and I say print x, and I say print x plus x. Let's see what happens. My name is still Christian, hasn't changed. Printer number, I'm going to say eh, 10. Hmm, interesting. So it printed the 10, and then when I added it together, it gave me 10, 10. Okay, so if you guys remember, like way early in the very first, I think it's like the very first or second lesson where we talked about printing. If you do like a variable plus a variable and it comes out like that, it tells you it's a string variable. So this is where you gotta be very, very careful. Uh, by default, the input is gonna give you a string. Okay, so in the computer's mind, what you typed was text, it wasn't numbers. Okay, so what we can do is we can, we can actually convert it. We can say x equals int, x if we were expecting an integer, uh, or we could do x equals float. Let's just do float. So let's change it to a float, and then if we say print x and print x plus x. Okay, so if I run that one more time, uh, and hello, Chris, please enter a number. I'm going to try 10. Ah, okay, so we've got our 10, our 10, 10, and then here we convert it to a float. We printed it, 10.0. So 10.0 plus 10.0 is 20. Now again, I didn't have to do float. I could have converted it to an int. And just to run that, see what happens. And 10. So there's no decimal points. So we have different uh, variable types uh, throughout our Python programs that we'll be using. So that's it. That's the basics of getting input from the computer. It's fairly simple. Uh, choose your variable name use the input keyword, and go from there. That is that.